Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppers. Today, check out some more Brazilian craft beer that I got from a few people on MPCC, specifically the people behind this brewery. So this brewery is called De Vanel do Valeco. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably butchering it, but as far as I can see on Google Translate, which is not the best option to translate Portuguese, is that it means something like the road rogues something about dreaming rogue dreams something about dreaming and rogues but someone who speaks portuguese can probably translate that better uh but i met the guys from the brewery they like the videos they like that i do brazilian beer once in a while and uh, they asked me if i wanted to try one of their ipas which uh, they had with them and i was like yeah sure let's try it and give it a go so this one is called pulmao do mundo which means and i I think that's how we pronounce it, which means the world's lung, which is a reference to the Amazon forest, which is, you know, pretty cool because they're in Brazil. The Amazon is right there. And it's a very important thing to, you know, sustain. So this is a New England IPA with Citroen Galaxy hops. It's 7% and it looks like my kind of New England IPA because it's very pin bright and yellow. So as I said, pin bright and yellow, look at that, very hazy. You know, wow, it smells really good. Uh, full on, not like crazy turkey gravy type haze, but it's a very nice, hazy, almost milky looking yellow color with a nice white head. Let's check out the aroma on this one. Oh, it's really dank. Nice, I didn't expect that. <laughs> it's like, citrus become really dank and it has like that really bright, dank, cushy citra vibe. I'm just getting boatloads of citra, tropical pineapple, tropical, like this smells right up my alley. Like this smells exactly like the IPAs from New England I want to drink. Oh, it smells really good. Uh, pithy citrus as well, like some lime zest or something. Galaxy is soft and it's like a touch of it. Uh, and there's a touch of pepperiness and earthiness from it too, but it's super light. I think citra is the predominant hop in this. But yeah, you know, Brazil's craft beer scene is vast, it's huge, it's become a really big thing in the country. And I've tried, you know, a handful, reviewed a handful of them, and I had some really good ones. I've had some ones that are, I think, like, they needed a little bit of work, but they were so close to being, like, some of the, like, really crazy stuff from the States. It's been varied a bit, and we've even had some off cans and whatnot, like some infected batches of beer, but that happens. But, you know, a lot of the time I've had really, really crazy good stuff. I think the last experience I had with the really good one ones was from Trilha, which was a great. But yeah, this smells really good. Uh, again, pin bright and dank and passion fruity and tropical and zesty. It smells like exactly the kind of IPA I want to try and drink or try and drink the kind of New England IPA I want to drink. And soft, juicy esters, nothing crazy. Almost in the monkish style. Something like that. Maybe just not, well, maybe more verdant because it's maybe a bit more juicy than, than monkish, but it's, it's like monkish bird and esque if I should compare it to some American and European birds, but it smells dope. Let's drink it. Cheers, guys. And thanks to, let's try this again. Devanel do Velaco for the beer. Cheers. Mm. Total crusher. So much like the uh, verdant, those kind of IPAs, more so than maybe monkish. Because I think Monkish is a bit fuller in body and whatnot. This is lighter, but it's super crushable because it's also dry, which is really nice. It's not like one of these crazy sweet New England IPAs. Again, it's this must be perfect for the Brazilian heat because it's got just like so fresh and aromatic and light and dry. So it just makes you want to drink more of it. That's a really good IPA. Pithy. Sesty lemon, pink grapefruit, or yeah, a little bit of pink grapefruit, but big pop of like the biggest like fruit flavors. Definitely passion fruit and pineapple. I feel like there's almost a little bit of a starburst candy, uh, saltwater taffy type. And saltwater taffy, if you don't know what it is, it's similar to something like starburst uh, candy. It's like this chewing candy with fruit flavor. It's almost like a tropical citrusy kind of. Uh, starbursty you know, candy flavor that's there. Like it's like, I think it's the part of the ester profile from the yeast and also the hops. And I think there's more of that in this and there's if, like Monkish is a bit more subdued on those kind of flavors. That's why it's, yeah, it reminds me of like Dea or or Verdant or uh, what else? Maybe a bit of track too in some of their beers. Like a lot of the the UK producers that makes like really good New England IPAs. And I was also told this was really fresh. Oh, we got a date on here. Great. Okay, that's awesome. It's. Five, no, it's actually two months. 
it's holding up insanely well for two months. So yeah, because we're almost in November now. But yeah, that's hold. Call me surprised. This one has, must have been crazy at the one month, four week mark. But it is really good. I love that it's got some dank, cushy vibes too. I get a bit of that dank, cushy, pineapple, cush, weed, aroma, and flavor. And it's not all gushing juice, and it's soft, and it's dry. Really, really damn good IPA. Uh, maybe not world class for me, but I think it's definitely the like 92, 93. It reminds me of a lot of the beers, as again, like I said, Verdant kind of Dea produces here in Europe, and I think it's really, really good. Like if I was in Brazil, I would drink the schissel out of this in the heat. So yeah, very tasty stuff. Thanks a ton for the beer. Uh, De Manio do Velaco. Uh, this was dope. So this was uh, Pul Pulmao, Pulmao do Mundo, the world's lung. Citra and Galaxy New England IPA. If you guys had a chance to try this, I'm sure a lot of you guys don't. <laughs> but if you're from Brazil, I know I have a good following in Brazil and some of you guys probably had this. So if you had it, let me know what you thought of it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, ring the bell for future notifications about videos, and I'm gonna say cheers. And see you guys in another video.